am Kia Hawker. I'm at the School of Communication and Arts at UQ, the University of Queensland, um, and I'm a third year PhD student. My PhD deals with the introduction of augmented reality filters and lenses on social media platforms like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. I think the biggest thing that I wasn't expecting to come out of my thesis in this area was the way it's impacting gender. You have a lot of filters that will do something to the face that can feminize it or make you look more masculine. And a lot of people who are maybe on the fence or trying to figure out their gender identity, it gives them the opportunity to try it out without having to do anything physical to their bodies. I think initially it was really about the cultural and social implications at play, but then came to realize you can't separate that from the technical, especially with the filter. And it is doing things where people, their whole online identity is based on using a specific filter that maybe changes their eye color or changes their hair color or does something specific like that. What I'm hoping to achieve with my thesis is kind of give us like a blueprint or some foundational ways in which we can study what happens when the body becomes simulated. The filters embedded itself as such an important tool to use to be a part of the platform. And then also, if you're making a filter that's trying to add makeup or make you look like conventionally, you know, attractive, initially feminine people were better at that because they were so used to having to shape their face and use makeup. So you actually have a lot of women making filters and that's kind of rare as well with the new technology. So I think the environment that surrounds the filter, you can't separate the technical and the cultural implications as much.